anniversary, and Doc, congratulations for being married 60 years. That's a lot. We love you. Teresa and Larry wishing you a happy 60th anniversary and wishing you many more. I have enjoyed getting to know you. You've both been a blessing in my life. Hi, Nana and Da. Um, happy anniversary. Your love is something that um, I hope that I can have someday in my life. And I love y'all so much. And I'm sending all my love from New York and wish I could be there with you to give you a big hug um, and celebrate you. But I hope that you feel celebrated and loved because y'all deserve it. You love others so well. And um, I'm just glad that we get to celebrate y'all's love together. Um, so love you and thinking of you and sending all my love. When I think of Larry and Teresa, I think of the salt of the earth. Jesus talked about Christians and the church is supposed to be salt used in the scripture as a preservative and also something that causes flavor to be enhanced. When people walk with Christ and love him the way they should and love others the way they should, uh, they're salt. And uh, I look at that marriage that has been so faithful I look at the way that each of their, their characters display the love of Christ, the way that uh, we ought to treat one another in the church, their commitment to their church. And I just smile because I, I wanna say well done. Uh, they're the real deal. And so I remember meeting uh, this couple several, several years ago. and I've never seen anything but kindness and times in my life when my family uh, needed some things. They were always there to encourage and support. And so it's just been an honor to know them. I look forward to all that God has ahead for them in the future. Uh, I wish them the greatest anniversary they, they, they could ever even dream of. And, um, I want to say a preview of Before Jesus Does Someday. Well done, good and faithful servants. Love you guys. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Hi, Larry and Teresa. Happy anniversary. Cheryl told me it is your 60th wedding anniversary. Wow, you must have been a child bride. Teresa, I just want you to know how special you are to me. You are my first uh, leader in my Bible study um, during 2012 when I came to Denton and Denton Bible. Uh, you knew the struggles that I was going through, that Mike was going through, and I never thought that you were never praying for me. You always prayed for me, and I want to thank you so much. Um, you're a special friend. I love you, and I pray that you and Larry have a wonderful, wonderful anniversary and many more to come. I love you. Bye. One of the first things I remember about Nana and Daw is being introduced to the fact that Nana has magical prayers because she's got it in with God. And what that means is that whatever Nana prays for comes true. In all seriousness, I think this really exemplifies the example that you've set for your grandchildren and for anyone that comes in contact with you, just how important your faith is to your life, to your marriage, and to your ministry. Um, I want to say that personally, I've always been very impressed with how involved Nana and Da have been in Kylie's life, and I'm so thankful to be welcomed to the family. You guys are a wonderful example, and I wish you a happy 60th wedding anniversary. Hi, this is Nellie Nelson. I heard you, you were having a 60th wedding anniversary, and I wanted to give you a big congratulations. Not very many people are able to do that. Have a wonderful day. There's one thing that keeps coming to my mind when I think of Larry and Teresa, and that's that when Shane and I, in fact, my whole family, our whole family came down for Hoyt's wedding. And we stayed at Larry and Teresa's house and we had Addison and Grace there as well. And they picked up on Larry and Teresa so fast and they loved them so much that very first thing, it was just amazing to Shannon and I. And the funniest thing out of that week that I remember, and I remember it all the time, is that Addison, every, Addison and Grace, every night when they go to bed, people would go into their room and read a story or say something to them before they would go to sleep. And they made Larry and Teresa, or Larry, should I say, Doc and Nana, to come into the room 
And when it was their turn, Addis would say, Doc, you're up. And he'd have to go in and read it. We remember that forever. But what we want to say is happy anniversary. We love everybody there and hope everybody has a great time. Hi, Larry and Teresa. Hey, and I just wanted to wish you a happy 60th anniversary. We're so excited uh, that you are getting to celebrate this. And we know that because we just uh, got to celebrate our 40th anniversary a couple weeks ago. So happy, happy anniversary. anniversary for both of us. And Larry, happy anniversary. I hope this comes through this time. We're just now learning. We sure love y'all and so thankful. You have such a wonderful family and so many friends. And have a great, great anniversary and a whole bunch more years coming up. They're worth it. Love you both. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hi there. We came to wish you a happy anniversary. And I want to give you a little poem. Roses are red. Violets are blue. Teresa loved Larry. And he loved her too. Thank you guys for being such a wonderful example of a godly couple. We love you and wish you all the best. We're right behind you. We're at 56. Just want to say happy 60th anniversary, Teresa and Larry. I am so thankful that God gave me you two as in-laws. But I would have liked to have been a fly on the wall 30-something years ago when Scott came home and told y'all that he wanted to propose to somebody who was still in high school. No, but all kidding aside, I just want to say how much I appreciate all your love and support for Scott and I over these last 30 plus years. You have welcomed me into your family and you two have been such a godly example of what a marriage is supposed to be like. You have had tremendous influence um, over Scott and I. And I also want to thank you for all the love and support that you've given our children, your grandchildren. You were almost, you were at almost every a sporting event that they had. You supported them, you encouraged them, you prayed for them. I couldn't have asked for anything or any better grandparents than you two for our children. I just wanted to wish you a happy 60th anniversary again and just tell you all that I, I love you very much. Larry and Teresa, congratulations on your 60th wedding anniversary. You have been a blessing to us. Yeah, congratulations, y'all. Uh, just like in marriage, like we've been married 55, we're catching up on you. But Linda said it all. In our family, we just say, I rule the roost and she rules the rooster. So y'all have a blessed anniversary. Hey, Larry. Hey, Teresa. It's Larry Jr. Coming to you from New York. Um, sorry I can't be there today uh, with Kim and the girls in New York. Uh, but want you to know uh, what a special anniversary this is. You know, a lot of my friends uh, through the years have talked about their in-laws in a variety of different ways. Uh, many times not very flattering. But I will tell you, you guys are a fantastic example of what it is to be married, honoring one another, honoring Christ in your lives, honoring your children and grandchildren, <laughs> doing whatever it would take. But you really, you really made me feel special for, for more than 30 years now. And I love you. I appreciate you more than you know. And I look forward to seeing you soon. Happy anniversary. Hey, Nana and Doc. Congratulations on your special day. 60 years. Woo woo! We love you. Love you. When I hear that people don't have a close relationship with their grandparents, I can't even fathom that. Because when I think back to my childhood, you guys are there for so many memories. Whether that was taking us out to Chili, Cece, Chuck E. Cheese, so my parents could have a date night, or if it was cheering me on in the stands at all of my sporting events, or driving me straight from softball practice to cheerleading practice, teaching me how to take a pill, baking in the floor of your kitchen. You guys were there for so much of it, and I can't thank you enough for that. You guys are so giving and generous with not only monetary things, but your time. And that has made the world of difference in my life and shaped me into who I am today. But more importantly, I wanna thank you for the example that you've set. You guys live a life completely devoted to Christ. You put him first above everything, and it is so apparent with all that you do. Thank you for teaching us also how important family is and how much we need to value that. 
when I see your marriage of 60 years and the generations that you've built from that, well done. Thank you so much for the impact you had on my parents and then now on me. I love you guys and I just hope that one day Aaron and I can make it to 60 years like you guys. I love you, happy anniversary. Hi, Clayton and Amy Conine here. We wanna wish Teresa and Larry a happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. We met them when we were young and in college and now we've been married almost 19 years and have two daughters of our own. And it's been a blessing to know them and run into them and their uh, family throughout the years. So wishing you the best. Hey, Teresa and Larry, happy anniversary. Happy anniversary, guys. Uh, thanks for always being such a great uh, model for our family. And uh, we've looked up to you guys and the example that y'all have been for us for a lot of years. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. We love you. Mom and Dad, Mr. Spencer kind of stole my thunder with the salt deal, but I thought of another analogy I wanted to use. Jesus told Peter, he said, you're the rock. Upon this rock, I'm going to build my church. And to me, that is what you guys epitomize in our family. Y'all are the rock. Growing up, always in church, the doors were open, we were there. You know, anytime we had anything, you guys were there. My, my children, you were there for them at every step of the way. And they've watched y'all and, and, and everybody is just blessed by being around you guys. Y'all are the, the, the salt of the earth. Thank you so much for all you've done for us and, and most of all your faithfulness to the Lord and just showing us all how to live our lives not just talking about it, but walking it. Love you very much and have a happy anniversary. Hi, Uncle Larry and Aunt Risa. Happy 60th wedding anniversary. Sending you all my love from Savannah. Well, congratulations, friends. We are so happy to be celebrating 60 years of marriage for you guys. You are a blessing to Bob and I. We have loved y'all for so long, and we thank God that he brought you into our lives many, many, many years ago. What a role model y'all have been uh, living your life for the Lord and then raising your children in the Lord, your grandchildren, and now that great grandbaby. So we love you and we just wanted to tell you. Yes, and you know, I, I was just thinking about y'all been married 60 years. You must have got married when you was 10 years old apiece. But we love you anyway, that's okay. Always, our friends. Happy anniversary, Teresa and Larry. One of my earliest memories of you is some 33 years ago when you came out to Aubrey to address invitations to Scott and Pam's wedding. Let's hope they will also be blessed with over 60 years together. Hi, Nana and Daw. Just wanted to wish you guys a happy anniversary. And just, I love you guys so much and just can't think of better grandparents to have and role models to have when modeling a family after. Just you guys are the blueprint of how to do it and just love you guys so much. Happy 60th anniversary. Um, we're so blessed to have you guys as a great example to watch. Um, and congratulations for making it 60 years. We love you guys. Teresa and Uncle Larry, we just wanted to wish you a happy anniversary and tell you how happy we are um, that you're a part of our lives and how inspirational it's been to watch your marriage over the years. Um, we love you and thank you for being such an important part of our family. Happy anniversary, guys. 60 years, I guess. Sounds like it's probably going to take. <laughs> um, I want to thank you so much for loving me the way you have. Uh, I told Corbin. Uh, yesterday that uh, every August I always got a birthday card from you guys probably a week ahead of time which means you thought about it and it meant something to you that was always really special to me and um, every time I see it if it's been six months or a year I've just felt like I was met with nothing but genuine and sincere love and uh, that really means a lot to me happy anniversary and thank you for the difference you've made in so many lives of our family and members of your church and community, you guys have, are an example of a life well lived. Love you. Happy anniversary. Hey, happy anniversary, Larry and Teresa. We uh, 
really admire you guys. You've been a great example for so many of us. You're so special and just so enjoyed knowing both of you and wishing you a wonderful celebration today with your family. Godspeed. Hey, Larry and Teresa, happy anniversary. You beat us to the point, punch. We have a 60th in October. Happy anniversary on your 60th. First, we congratulate you for not only reaching 60 years of marriage, but also for enjoying 60 years of marriage. We of this certain age have been granted the gift of long life, and it is great to see a couple put all these years to good use. Teresa and Larry, you have been best friends to us over the years, and we appreciate that friendship more than words can express. From helping us paint our house, drill holes for a fence, and put on birthday parties for our children to providing many hours of fun and laughter, playing 42 and eating peach pie. We love you guys. Hi, Larry. Hi, Teresa. We just uh, wanted to wish you the best anniversary ever. Happy 60th, 60th anniversary. One of these days, maybe we'll catch you. We're working on it. And um, we're just thrilled that uh, you all can celebrate this time together. You're great friends of ours. You've been uh, a blessing to us. Yeah. And, and we just wish you the very best. We love you guys. We do. We love you. We love you. Happy anniversary. Hey, Mom and Dad. Um... Every time I start this, I get emotional, so I decided we're just going to fight through it. Um, to say, well, first of all, happy 60th anniversary. Um, to say that you guys are biblical role models of marriage is a complete understatement. The way that you have always interacted with each other and the way you love each other is... Um, it's beautiful. Thank you for being such great parents, such good role models, not only for marriage, but as grandparents. I'm sorry. Um, you were always there for the kids and always have been and still are. And if I ever have grandkids, if I'm blessed, um, wow, I have big shoes to fill, but I know how to do it because I've watched the best. So thank you guys for everything. I love you and I hope you're having a fantastic anniversary. Bye.